The door of St. John takes its name from the chapel of St. John the Baptist that is behind the wall. It is the last of the restored doors, most notably by Velázquez Bosco, and the first on this side, of which they opened to the street from the interior of the mosque. At first glance, this door reminds us of the ones already seen on the western side of the mosque, like the door of St. Ildefonsus or the door of the Holy Spirit. Now, let's focus on the difference between them. In the first place, we see how, as the blind side doors are lower, the gained space has been used to place a double window with horseshoe arches, something non-existent on the western side. The other big difference is seen with the blind archery of the central upper space, whose arches are horseshoe or trilobe shaped, instead of intertwined like the ones on the western hall. Look at these two images of the door of St. Ildefonsus and the door of St. John and discover the differences. Let's go to the next entrance. Walking down the street, we find the door of the baptistry, in which a chapel also appears behind it. In this case, it is the baptistry chapel. In this door, we can see the same structure as the previous one. A beautiful image is achieved with a combination of brick and stone and the different successions of distinct arch types. On this facade, we can appreciate the horseshoe arches and the poly-lobed arches of the windows, and the dual arches of the intermediate lateral bodies. The stone engravings of vegetable and geometric motifs and some religious quotes. It is worth mentioning a detail of Velázquez Bosco. This architect restorer of the mosque at the beginning of the 20th century. Being a serious and precise person in his restorations and renouncing to take any work if he was not clear on how to proceed with it, it was not an obstacle for allowing a detail seemingly contradictory to himself. But perhaps we should see it more as another confirmation of the seriousness of his work. Not wanting to pass off as authentic something that was not, he engraved in Arab characters the inscription in times of Sultan Alfonso, son of Alfonso. To our knowledge, this is the only time a king has been called a sultan, at least in public. Logically, we are talking about Alfonso the Thirteenth, son of Alfonso the Twelfth. Thank you.